is going on everybody? Welcome back. It's been about three weeks since my last real upload and it's mainly because of Reef of Palooza. I've been extremely busy preparing for that event. Um, that has come and gone. Reef of Palooza New York 2018 was a complete success for me um, to the fullest. 100%, 110% success for me. Um, I'm going to be pretty much just looking at the tank this video. Uh, showing you guys how it looks now that all those frags are out of here. Um, I can see the back wall again. I can see the sand again. Everything survived the weekend of me just not being here. Also, I want to just give you guys um, the uh, some some things that I've encountered at Reefapalooza. Things that I will do again and things that I will definitely never, ever, ever do again. Um, so let's just get right to it. So Friday morning was set up uh, for vendors. I was there at 10.30 and I left there at about 8.30. Um, setup started with, you know, driving into the back doors, finding your booth and setting up. And I want to give a special shout out, shout out to uh, Dave's Nano Tanks because I could not have done it without him. Um, I hand built and designed the booth myself and um, built tables for the tanks, leveled them, painted them, made them sturdy enough with storage underneath. I hand built the um, light racks, I modified the frag tanks, I designed the whole thing to be um, usable for three days and not uh, get all crazy in there. So I couldn't have done it without Dave because he showed up to hang out Friday and he ended up just helping me sweating his ass off just like me and we got it all together and it was a success um so thanks again dave uh so friday you know was a setup day um a lot of craziness going on you know setting up all the product i brought a lot of dry goods i brought a lot of coral if you're wondering how i made out i made out 110 percent happy um, every single coral that i brought is gone sold some pieces i gave away for free at the very end on Sunday, um, the frag tank that I had the corals in, that sold. My Corian tank that I built, that sold. The lights that I put over the tank sold. And even the tables that I built to put the frag tanks on were sold. Um, so I'm, I'm extremely happy. It was a great weekend. However, I will never do that again. Because Greg Carroll said it the best, I became a slave to the booth. And I couldn't do like I normally do, which is run around like crazy, like the rest of you guys, and look at all the coral and find the awesome pieces and the great deals. I didn't have time to do that this year. And um, I thought about it every minute of the day. While you guys were running around smiling, acting crazy, I was stuck behind the booth selling coral. But it, I'm still happy that I went and did all that because... Um, it was for a good cause. So, as you can see here, this is the uh, a good shot of the back of the tank. The glass is totally clean and clear. I have not seen the back glass of my tank in months. When I left Friday, I think it was like 54, 56 frags that I had on the back wall for months. Um, it was covered in coralline algae and other algae. It, was, uh, it felt so good to clean this tank. Um, Sunday night when I got home from the show. So again, yeah, all the corals sold. Um, I did bring home a couple pieces that I did not want to sell. I just couldn't let go of the coral itself. And that coral is Bob. So if you see that big, huge, juicy, overweight acan right there, that is Bob. Bob is... Um, never leaving my tank for no dollar sign. I brought him to the show, put a $400 price tag on him, um, and I had multiple, multiple people coming up to me and saying, hey, if I give you a deposit, can I take it Sunday? And I said, no, no deposits. I didn't want to sell them, but I did want to sell them, but I didn't want to sell them. So I also had a couple of um, people that actually dive quite often and say they've never seen anything that color or that size before. So. Saturday, at the end of the day, I bagged them up, brought them home, and said, that's it, big guy, you're coming home. And yes, that coral's name is Bob. In case you don't know, my daughter named him Bob. And um, so, Bob was a big success at the show. Um, 
he was the star at my booth for sure. And I also brought this Aiken home with me as well because it's just a really nice rainbow and I'm going to let it grow out. Um, we'll see how Bob does because when I brought him home, I put him on this bigger disc here that you see and I didn't realize that he was encrusted on it and I ripped him in two different spots so that I later had to take a pair of scissors and cut it. Um, so hopefully he pulls through. Um, stick through the end there, Bob. Bob, you're a strong guy. So let's take a look at the um, other side of the sand bed here. So from this angle, you can see that the sand bed is almost completely wide open. I'm gonna be taking those, um, there's an A can right here, and there's one way over here. I'm gonna be moving them somewhere else um, because the whole point of bringing all those corals with me and selling them is so that I could see my sand bed again and I'm still 95% uh, sure that I'm going to be changing my sand bed out and go back to the Fiji pink like I've always had because this bigger grain sand um, collects a lot of coralline algae on it and I don't like that look on the sand bed but yep I'm extremely happy that I can see the sand bed now there's no more frag racks right here there was a huge frag rack there was coral everywhere and um, <clears throat> having that much in my tank was starting to uh, break me down mentally I guess you could say it was to the point where I didn't want to have a tank anymore and now that all the corals out it's almost like starting fresh again and um, it's very relaxing to me again I don't have to worry about growing the coral and feeding you know I brought I ended up bringing 96 pieces with me um, and they're all gone so uh, like I said I sold every single piece at the end of the day on Sunday I gave a couple of pieces out for free to people that I know um, salty John um, he's a new youtuber you guys may know him as John Robertson but his uh, new name, I believe now, is Salty John. He helped me out. Uh, I had to take a break. He, you know, he went behind a booth, no problem. Was bagging up some coral and selling it for me. So I sent him home, I think, with uh, about eight or ten frags. John, if you're watching, um, leave in the comment section down below on how many uh, pieces of coral I gave you for helping me out. Um, but yeah, it was awesome. I saw uh, a lot of YouTubers that I've known from the past, a lot of new guys, a lot of subscribers. So, like I said, next year I will not be behind a booth selling coral. Um, I want to make it so that it's a hangout again and it's a good time. I want it to be more of a party than a job. So, what I did is I went ahead and I already um, i am going to be booking my booth for next year. Yes, I'm not going to be selling coral, but I will have a booth. And that booth is going to be for all of us. Uh, it's going to be like our unofficial home while you're at the show. I'm going to set it up. It's going to be themed. It's going to be pretty awesome. So even if I don't have a tank, I'm going to be going to Reef of Palooza every year that they have it in New York um, just to hang out with you guys. All right, so the rambling that I'm doing is coming to the end. Again, it's been a while since I've put out an actual upload. I do have lots of stuff that I'm going to be putting out. Some new product that I got. Um, I did talk to a couple people. I am going to be changing the lights on the tank. So if you guys uh, know me, that I'm a big T5 freak, um, I'm going to be doing some uh, upgrades on the tank that you might want to stick stick around and watch down the road. Also, we're going to take a look at the coral that I did pick up at the show in the next video. Um, I'm building a tank for somebody. I'm going to show you that from um, start to finish, building the stand painting it, uh, how I do everything, sanding it, painting it, leveling it, putting door hinges on, drilling the tank, putting in the overflow, putting in the return lines, um, start to finish on that, as well as um, I'm going to be actually cutting some coral, um, you know, home frag kit, so I'm going to be doing that as well, and you know, my basic stuff, tank maintenance, um, I really want to show you guys uh, in-depth look on some maintenance that I do and um, so that's it so I'm gonna end it now we're, we're getting close to the 10 minute mark uh, I hear the dog in the background barking so she's probably gonna come down any minute now and start acting a fool but yeah the tank is good everything is doing well and um, thanks for watching everybody thanks for sticking through these three uh, lazy weeks of me but again I said I was very very busy um, I hope to see you guys at the next event um, I will be planning an event actually uh, in 
probably either late August um, or early September for another hangout, um, maybe like an end of a end of the summer bash. We will see. So, shout out to everybody that I saw there this weekend: uh, Dave's Nano Tanks, Diver Down Reefer, Reef Spy, um, DC Reefer, Straight Straight Reef. Uh, who was a Straight Reef? Who was there? I think there's so many people there. Inappropriate Reefer, Rico, um, Jamie, uh, just everybody. There was just. If I forgot your name, put it in the comment section below. Um, I, I should have wrote everybody's name down, but there was just so much going on that weekend. I'm telling you, I'm never selling coral at that show again. It was fun, but I, it was not fun enough. Definitely want to get back to my normal thing of hanging out and just looking at all the eye candy with you guys and just acting a fool. Sabella Fella, big shout out to Sabella Fella. Man, that guy has the bomb coral. Um, but yeah, that's it. Done rambling. I'm going to put this right on YouTube as soon as I can. Today is Wednesday. It's like 6 o'clock at night. So we'll see how fast I can get this out there. So again, thanks for watching everybody. Next video will be an up close look on all the coral because there are some new ones in here. And I did have my big acro colony break on me the other day. Um, so yeah. And we'll see how Bob's doing after uh, cutting him with a pair of scissors. I can't believe I did that. But anyway, thanks guys, and uh, I'll see you.